I want to share with you uh, a little sm a simple subject I've entitled how to hear the voice of God how to hear the voice of God allow me to start with uh, this simple statement uh, 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 of all human activities man's listening to God is a supreme act of his reasoning and will you see my brothers and sisters listening to God uh, is by choice you have to decide to listen to God uh, one thing I want to tell uh, I want to tell you and bring across to you is that uh, the God that we serve the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob the God of the Bible is not an idol the God of the Bible speaks the God of the Bible hears but we have turned him to be an idol because we have not given him time to speak you know God wants to speak to us each time we come to uh, have a conversation with with him he wants to speak to us but most of the times we are busy we never take time to listen to God uh, uh, in his effort and uh, 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 to, to speak to us he has designed a system and uh, a program called prayer so whenever we go into prayer God uh, would love to speak to us you know the Bible says knock and the door uh, will be opened prayer is like knocking on the big door of heaven uh, but you know most Christians go to that door knock before the Lord would say come in we have already turned and we have walked away so each time we go into prayer God would love to speak to us uh, Nehemiah uh, Numbers chapter 7 verse 89 the Bible says when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord he would hear the voice speaking to him above the mercy seat you know Moses each time Moses went into a tent of meeting he would hear the voice each time Moses went into a tent of meeting to speak with God he would hear uh, the voice speaking to him hallelujah so whenever Moses went into into the tent of meeting he always expected God to speak to him the problem of uh, we have as Christians each time we go into prayer each time we go into have a conversation with God we never expect God to speak that is why we have never heard God speak each time we go we just go speak speak and return God always wants to speak to us you know when we begin to be uh, to grow uh, 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 the art of hearing from God the faith in us will start growing you know because faith uh, grows by hearing and what we as we hear faith begins to build up the Bible says uh, in Romans chapter 10 verse 17 the Bible says now faith comes from what is heard and what is heard comes from comes through the word of Christ faith comes from what is heard you see faith grows as you keep on hearing as God speaks to you as God keeps you speaks to you you have you're developing the confidence the courage and your uh, direction uh, is being is being given I want to bring it I want to bring this across to you that uh, not listening to God leads to destruction not listening to God leads to destruction you know uh, Joshua chapter Five verse six. The Bible says, "For the uh, for the Israelites travelled forty years in the wilderness until all the nation and the warriors who came out of Egypt perished, not having listened to the voice of God. The whole nation, the whole warriors who came out of Egypt perished, be, uh, not having listened to the voice of God. Had they listened to the voice of God, these guys would have been preserved." These guys will be unpleasant, but they, they, they decided not to listen to the voice of God. Uh, you might be there and you're saying, uh, Joshua, then how do, how would I listen to the voice of God? Uh, I want to give you three points uh, of how to listen to the voice of God. And I pray and uh, I pray, my prayer is that they will be helpful in your life. Number one is be in the spirit at all times be in the spirit uh in the book of revelations chapter one and verse 10 uh john says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard a voice like a trumpet i am the alpha and the omega i was in the spirit on the lord's day you see when you are in the atmosphere uh we have created an atmosphere where god can speak to you god will always speak god is spirit uh john tells us god is spirit we have to be in the spirit to hear the voice uh, voice of God 
Hallelujah. How can you be? You are in the spirit all the time. It's not always in prayer. We're moving the spirit. Never go there. The Bible says he who dwells in the secret place. We're supposed to dwell in there. And God will always speak to us. Number two is that expect God to speak to you. Each time we go into prayer, each time we are talking to God, expect God to speak to you. Uh, if you don't have that expectation, you will never hear the voice of God. You have to have the expectation to speak to, uh, for God to speak to you, and then God will speak to you. Uh, the third point is having a closer, a close relationship with God, working close with God. If you have that relationship with God, God will speak to you. You see, the Bible says about Moses, Moses knew the mind of God. The children of Israel knew the ways of God. The difference is that Moses walked close with God. If you have today, you decide today, I want to have a closer relationship with God. Through prayer, the study of the word of God, God will become your friend. I know of a man, the man called Abraham, God called Abraham a friend. You see, when you become a friend of God, God will convert, God will speak to you. He will speak to you, he will, he will, at all times. At all times, as you walk, as you eat, God will be speaking because you are friends. He will, he will, he will be talking to you. He will be speaking to you. And you can hear the voice of God. If you do these three things, be in the spirit at all times. Be in the spirit. Expect God to speak at all times. Uh, acknowledge him. Uh, uh, always ask him questions. What should I do, O oh Lord? And hear in a, in, inside of you. Uh, God speaks in various ways. He might speak in a dream. He may speak in a still voice, a small voice. He may speak to you through a thought. Maybe a thought just crosses your mind. That's God speaking. You have to discern when God speaks. Hallelujah. But the greatest thing uh, that uh, we enable God to speak to you is that you have to be born again. That's the first step uh, that you have to take as a, uh, as a uh, you have to become a born again believer for God to speak to you. And how do you become a born again believer? Romans chapter 10 and uh, verse, uh, Romans chapter 10 says, If you confess your sins, He is faithful to forgive us of our sins. And I want you to confess Him as Lord, uh, confess Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior, and God will begin to speak to you, and you will begin to hear the voice of God in your life. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I want to pray for you uh, as you. As, uh, as, as we go to the close. Maybe you are there saying, I want to give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, uh, I've realized I've sinned and I've fallen short of the glory of God. Today, I've decided to follow Jesus Christ for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen.